CDC TV presents Health Matters. One minute it was just like a little flame on the on the wall where the outlet was, and this thing you know was busting out wonders in the back. Firefighters say that Katrina Thornton and her children are examples of how to keep your family safe in the event of a fire. Everyone did get out safely after fire hit their home. It happened just days after the fire department installed two smoke alarms during a safety inspection. Residential fires are a public health problem that affects many people. Fortunately, many residential fires are preventable. People think it won't happen to me, it can't happen to me, it's going to happen to somebody down the road. But reality is 80% of fires occur in the home. Cooking is a leading cause of fire injuries in the home. If you're cooking, be sure that you're close to the stove. It's very easy to become distracted or to stop paying attention while you're cooking, which is a leading cause of cooking fires. Smoking is the number one cause of fire deaths around the nation. The CDC recommends that if you're a smoker, that you attempt to quit smoking. If you are gonna smoke, you should smoke outside. Also, never smoke if you are under the influence of alcohol, medications, or if you're tired. One in four home fire deaths are caused by smoking materials. If you're smoking, it's important that you use an ashtray that is deep, that is sturdy, and it's also on a balanced and level surface. The toxic gases and dark smoke that can result from a fire is a bigger problem than many people realize. Someone can virtually be overcome by smoking just a matter of minutes. Fire really does multiply itself really quickly. The toxic gas is spread really quickly, and they fill up the area. In fact, in as quickly as 30 seconds, a room can fill up with this type of smoke. Smoke alarms save lives. It doubles your chance of surviving the fire to have working smoke alarms installed in your house. Not just having a smoke alarm, but having a smoke alarm that is been installed and that is tested once a month to make sure that it's working. CDC recommends that you have smoke alarms on every level of the home, including the basement. You should also have smoke alarms outside of sleeping areas. For better protection, CDC also recommends that you have smoke alarms inside of every sleeping area, especially if it's occupied by a smoker. Fire prevention means having a fire escape plan and not just having the plan on paper uh, magnetized to the refrigerator, but actually sitting down at the table having a family planning meeting. And if you can get downstairs, that's the best thing to do, and you run right out the front door. About how we're going to get out of our home in the event that a fire happens. CDC and experts in the fire prevention field recommend that you practice your fire escape plan at least twice a year. That's something that increases your chance of getting out, and for us, that's a success story. 